clap. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us here in studio and also home. Uh, this is a real thrill for me to be able to do a broadcast of my band that we've had together for almost 30 years, maybe more than 30 years. Well, the three of us, and then Roberto, when did you come down here to the, to the D.C. area? Well, I've been in the area for 40 plus, so yeah. Oh, okay. Well, when did you show up at my gigs? <laughs> okay. About 30. Anyway. I, I, I arrived into a, these three guys playing Brazilian music. I was like, okay. I like it here. <laughs> See? That's a great thing. And uh, Fit Right In became part of the group, so um, became the Wayne Willens Quartet from the trio. Um, I'm very happy to have you guys here. Thank you for joining me in the room. I appreciate your attendance. It's great to have a live audience. It means a lot to us, I know. Uh, the first song we just did, Samba Jorli, which is uh, Chico Buarque, a great song that uh, has a lot to do with the uh, back in the military dictatorship era of Brazil when they were censoring everything and a lot of the artists had to leave and so a lot of them went to um, Europe and France in particular was a, was a good home for a lot of people and uh, I know uh, the story of this song was both Chico Barkey and Caetano Veloso were in Paris and Caetano decided he was going to go home and this is Chico saying go my brother you know go and spread the word basically mm -hmm. so it's a great song and you know good for all times especially <laughs> recently in Brazil and every place else so we're going to continue uh, with that was on our first album that we made back in 1994 that's right. And uh, I no longer have copies of that, but uh, <laughs> you can get it on iTunes. And um, this next song is on our most recent recording. I'm not going to say our last recording because we may do another. <laughs> and uh, it, this is a song uh, written by my idol, Milton Nascimento. It's called Milagro de los Peces.
Thank you. I think it is uh, time to introduce the band. David Jernigan is on the bass. Live applause, I love it. Roberto Birimbao on the percussion. He might make you believe it's Roberto Clemente. Yeah. Turn around and show him. Yeah. You know, as a Mets fan and Jim's a Nationals fan, we don't really appreciate other National League teams being represented. But it's okay because it's Clemente and we it's love Clemente him. It's Clemente. That's right. He's the greatest. Uh, Jim West on the drums. <laughs> Jim is a Nationals fan. <laughs> All right, we're going to continue now with, um, as I promised in our little blurb, we're going to do a song by uh, one of my favorite composers from Brazil that is not really known well outside of Brazil, but um, his songs to me are indelible. They're one after another great song, and this is another one of them. His name is Nelson Cavaquinho, and this is a tune called Luz Negra, means black light. <laughs> Thank you. 
David Jernigan on the bass. Thank you, David. <clears throat> All right, this uh, next piece also hails from our most recent recording. It's um, a song that I wrote, uh, inspired actually by uh, Duke Ellington song, which is uh, uh, Creole Fantasy. And uh, I also always wanted to write a shorto, and shorto is a style of Brazilian music that comes from the early part of the 20th century um, in Brazil. It's great, it's still hugely popular, if not maybe more popular now than it ever was. It's huge down there, when you're there. <laughs> Everyone's playing it, and it's a big deal because it's such a great thing to be in touch with the beautiful history. It's kind of their version of ragtime. And, um, and it's great, lots of detailed melodies. So I wrote this tune, it's called Choro Creole. It has nothing to do with Creole, nothing at all. <laughs> it's just, except for the fact that it's a blend of cultures. So this is my tune.
surprise ending. Gets me every time. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so as many of you know, out there in TV land <laughs> and in, here in Blue House land, um, we played for uh, 19 years, almost the entire stretch of its existence, at Utopia, <coughs> which was a fun jazz club on U Street. Um, Jim, Jim just sighed just thinking about all the years he spent in that room. <laughs> and all the years I spent with your ride symbol right by my head. <laughs> Into the window, that's right. In and out through the window, those are the days. Um, and this was a song that um, a good friend of ours who was a radio personality here in DC, Jerry Gordon, used to Phillips. scream out, Jerry, what? Jerry Phillips. Jerry Phillips, I'm sorry, Jerry Gordon was a guitar player, right? Jerry Phillips um, used to come and hang out all the time. He was a regular. And Jerry always asked for this tune. He's no, he's not with us anymore. Jerry is no longer with us, we miss him. He was, yeah, it's true. So don't be named Jerry, no, just kidding. It's Veracruz.
Thank you. Well, uh, our next piece is um, also off the first album that we were, we've done a few already. Sama Jorli, the last one, Vera Cruz was on there. And so is this, um, this is a song penned, written, composed by David Jernigan. Uh, and um, because our percussionist, Roberto, came to America to play funky music. This is that true. Part. Right. That part. That part is the true part. Everything else is a lie. Is that what you're doing? It took me 35 years to, to get it. But Finally, you're playing a funk I'm band. I'm doing it again. And when you met me, I just quit a funk band. So that's <laughs> ironic. Anyway. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. Just, you know, two ships in the night, baby. So anyway, David wrote this song so Roberto could have an anthem that was funky and still a samba at the same time. And this is it. It's called Roberto Binimbao.
Thank you. <laughs> ah, that's too much fun. Davi Zhao. That's David. Okay, uh, Jim West, one more time on drums. Jim. The eponymous <laughs> Roberto Bow. All right. Thank you. We gotta do Jobim, right? It's Brazilian music, gotta do Jobim, but we're not gonna do any bossa nova.
song. Oh, donation time, right? Mm -hmm. Donations. Uh, it's on the site, right, Chef? It's in the chat. It's in the chat. And then in the description. In the chat, on the screen, in the description. That's what Jeff tells me. That's how we do it here at Blue House. One more time, let's hear for Jeff and his crew here. Jeff Gruber, amazing job. They've done through the entire pandemic. And um, we've seen some fabulous shows through here, and there's more to come. Yes. So, um, how we're <clears throat> that's right. Granny and the Boys, I think Julie Mack has one coming up. Is that correct? Yes. Which uh, David and I will be involved in, correct? Hopefully. Um, unless I got fired just now after this last solo. <laughs> um, okay, uh, this next song is uh, written by um, another hero of mine, mm -hmm. Jacobo de Bandolin, who wrote some amazing, and I don't play mandolin, I don't play cavaquinho, I don't play any of that instrument, none of that string stuff like this guy. But there's strings in here. That's as far as I take it. Sure. Thanks. I don't touch them. <laughs> but Jacobo was uh, one of the greatest who ever lived at uh, playing bandolin, mandolin, cavaquinho. And he wrote some beautiful standards. And this is um, probably the most lively and fun one ever. It's called Brazil Rinho. <laughs> First? No, okay, good. Just check. <laughs>
crazy. <laughs> Oh, good. crazy and vaccinated. That's a dangerous combination. Crazy and vaccinated. All right. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Um, this next piece we're going to play probably against anybody else's wishes but mine. <laughs> but uh, um, we have a lot of songs that we do by Joel Bosco. Um, but this is just something about this tune. And, and, and we have a sing-along. Well, we sing along. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> If you know the words, which you don't, <laughs> it's um, the name of the song is called Ohancho de Goyabana. Ah. Okay. So it's about dessert, right? Goyabana con queso. Right. Goyabana con queso, which is a wonderful dessert. Oh, yeah. Romeo is the Goyabana. Right. And Julieta raised the queso. Doesn't matter. It's a beautiful thing. Whatever it is, it tastes dangerous. It's one or the other. <laughs> but this is really about um, guys who work hard all day and then they dream about having these wonderful, you know, rewards, which they don't really ever get, uh -huh. uh, including women and desserts. <laughs> so, Ojancho de Goyabana. Two, three, and...
amazing you guys knew all the words. <laughs> At least the law part. I knew that part too. Okay. Um, so going back to the very first time we ever recorded as a band, um, we were kind of discovered by um, this crazy guy who's now like a multi-billionaire, Eric Hilton. He's a local, um, wonderful uh, entrepreneur, DJ. Um, and we, I played on a number of their records at Thievery Corporation. And one of the first things that we ever did was he heard us when we used to play at Cafe La Trek, and he asked us to go record at some studio in Mount Pleasant. Remember the night? Soccer. What? The icy night? Yeah, the icy That's night. The that was the icy the night. Ilvisocker. Was it Ilva Soccer Studio? Was that where it was? Okay. And uh, hi, Dave, if you're out there. And um, we, we recorded these two songs, uh, and one of them was this one called Ponteu by El Lobo. So we'll try and recreate exactly. No, we're not. We're, we're just going to do it the way we do it.
Well, we have time for just one more, I think. Right? Right, Jeff? Whatever I want. Is that what that means? Basically, that's it. Okay. Whatever you want. Um, Wayne's World. One more time. Please check the chat for donations, right? Yes, sir. Please Thank check them. Much. Please give much, <laughs> as much as you have. These people here have already given. We appreciate you guys so much. Let's hear for the audience, studio audience. Yeah. We don't have an applause sign. We didn't need it because they're so awesome. Thank you guys very much for coming out. And uh, I know it was a beautiful night. It was a huge sacrifice for you to, to give up, but there's plenty more time. We're going to do one more song. Um, and uh, we haven't done anything. Well, we've done a few tunes that at least Regina uh, has, of course, covered, including Chauvin and Ajozera, which was the Jobim tune. And um, we're now, though, going to do a song that was one of the earliest uh, recordings showing the direction she was going to go in. Um, who was the arranger on this one? It's crazy. It's, um, Paulo Mora, maybe? Paulo Mora, correct. And it's like getting tail right and moving around. Right. Unbelievable stuff. This is <clears throat> a song called Menina das Laranjas. You ready? Hmm.
one more time, David Jernigan, Jim West on drums, Roberto Bidimbao, 